everybody and welcome to my board game review of a Game of Thrones the board game. This is the second edition board game and it is for three to six players and they recommend it for ages 14 to adults. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you around the board game, give you a little idea of how um, we play it and let you know what I think of it and give you some of my opinions about the game itself. So if you are really, really sad that season 8 of Game of Thrones is over and you want to see if you can win the Iron Throne, then this is the game for you. It's a really fun game and what I like the most about it is the fact that it's all um, about strategy. And as a kind of new player to board games, this is a really good one to get you into kind of a strategic board game. Before playing this, I'd only really played like Monopoly and Cluedo and all those usual games that most people tend to play. Um, and my boyfriend got me this for, I think it was my birthday, and I absolutely loved it. It's just so much fun. It's quite complicated in terms of learning the game, but once you've learned it, it's um, not too difficult. And there's so many YouTube videos out there to teach you how to play the game. So I will link some below to help you with that. So here is the board. As you can see, it's a very big board, so you'll need a big table to play the game. And each house has their own lands. So I'll show you all the different houses. So we've got the Baratheons there. We have, um, over here is the Sun is Sun Spear. Um, and there, down the end. And then we have um, the Tyrells. And we have the Lannisters up in Lannisport. And then very near the Lannisters, we have the Greyjoys out in the sea there. And then all the way at the end are the Starks. So we've found that it's really hard to win as the Starks. We haven't had anyone win playing Starks yet. So if you have, let me know down below. So we have the rounds board. So there's 10 rounds in the game. So after the 10 rounds, the game is done. And then we also have um, the castles, where if you catch the castles, you move up. If you get to seven, you win the game. Then we have here the supply tracks. So if you collect barrels on land, that means you get more supplies, which means you get bigger armies. You want to try and get lots of barrels when you play the game, because then that means you can get, create bigger armies. And then we have the kind of tracks here. So we have the Iron Throne, the Fiefdom, and we have the Little Raven, um, which is the King's Court. Now you want to try and get high on the King's Court, because that means you can use more star tokens, which is really good, because that means then that um, you can put down better orders and things when you play the game. And then we have here the Wildlings. If we get to, if the Wildling counter moves up to 12 turns, then the Wildlings attack, and you have to work together to try and beat the Wildlings, which is kind of fun as well. And there's rewards there for those of you um, that win, that do well on the bidding, you get rewards for beating the Wildlings. So here we go, here are our Greyjoy card, our Tyrell, Martell, Baratheon, Stark and Lannister. Depending on which house you play, um, you get a card. And I would recommend you give out the kind of houses at random because each house has kind of um, benefits and also weaknesses. So I'm going to show you um, what each of the houses have, what ships they have and where they are in position on the throne and the fiefdom and the king's court. So you get an idea of who perhaps is stronger at the start than others. Um, so um, certain houses get ships, knights, footmen, and then that kind of varies depending on who you're playing. And then you've got the position of the Iron Throne, the Fiefdom, and the King, King's Court. Now the Iron Throne is good because it allows you to make decisions. If you hold the Iron Throne, you are kind of like the decision maker in the game, which is really handy. Um, the Fiefdom is the sword, so it gives you a plus one, which means you're slight, you can use it to be slightly stronger in battles. I think also if there's draws in the game, you get to decide who wins, so that's really good. And then obviously the King's Court with the Raven, you can have a peek at what the, what the Wildling card is, so you know um, how to, what kind of rewards or, or problems are going to come up with the Wildling cards. And also you can perhaps change a certain token on the board. So if you look at the top, there's the order tokens, it tells you what they do. And that's kind of how you play the game, it's the mechanics of the game. How you move your pieces, and whether you attack people, or whether you defend your lands. So that's what those little tokens at the top are explaining. It's all about moving to try and gain more lands. Now there's also a little modifier card at the top. So if you have less players, you'll put that on the, um, the, on the Raven's track. And that just means that there's less stars going, so it's harder um to for players so they're not winning all their stars all the time then you get these tokens depending on if you're if you're 
winning on the other track so you get the throw and the sword or the raven you get to keep it you keep a hold of it until a um, bidding comes around with influence tokens to win those bits um and then we also have our amazing um house cards so every house is their house card so i'm showing you um the baratheon's house cards here at the top in the shields is a number if you play that card that's an additional a kind of attacking point um, to try and beat other players and each card has their own kind of um, modifier or benefit to it as well so all the houses have slightly different player cards and characters again with benefits and perhaps not so much benefits depending on what cards you've got um, to play to kind of just add more modification to the battling system which is really good so you have the knight the footman no, the knight's the horse, the footman's the person, that little pointy bit there's the ship, and um, a kind of a siege tower, and there are all the things you can have to fight people. And then here are some of the tokens that you play with as well. So what I really like about the game is the fact that there's lots of tokens, there's lots of things in the board game to kind of play with, and it's just really fun um, to get to use all the different, different tokens. There are the nice one star ones, so if you're high up on the star track you can use some of these and these are better and these mean that you are kind of attacking with more points or defending with more points um so you're more likely to perhaps win a battle if you can use those so that's really fun um yeah and what i really like about this game is the fact that um it's different every time every time you play it depending on who you play and who you're playing with um it makes the game different um and it's very challenging also we get these cards here and these are kind of at the end of every round you turn these cards over and they have different things on them so perhaps different challenges or different things that are happening in the game so i'll show you some of them now so here we go we have mustering this is great you want to get this one it means that you can perhaps get more recruit more um units which means that you become stronger your armies get bigger that's good um, unless of course you've lost a load of barrels then you kind of have to get rid of some units as well so then we've got here game of thrones each player collects a power token that's good power tokens allow you to perhaps bid to be higher up on the tracks also it helps you fight wildlings so you want to collect lots of power tokens and then also depending on if you're holding a sword or a raven or the, the throne you might get to make a decision um, and so here's a decision that you might get to make if you're holding the sword um, so that's fun as well that means you you're kind of decision making throughout the game which also adds to those twists and turns and it's just so much fun i just really enjoy playing this game i love it when my friends come around and they want to play um it's difficult to get the hang of to start with but as i said before there's loads of videos to help you with that and the rule book is great it's really advanced you also get these cards you don't have to play with them but i would recommend using them they're modifiers when you're fighting a battle um, you will turn out you can turn over a card and it'll give you a plus one or plus nothing also there's a sword icon which means that you might kill another troop so normally if you're battling and you use they're just knocked out and so you'll get them back but if there's a sword then they're dead no no if there's a i think if there's a skull then they're dead sorry ignore me don't know what i'm saying yes yeah, skull they're dead sword i can't remember what sword does bear with me i'd have to look in the rules as i said it's really there's lots of different rules and things and even though i played it a few times we still have to check the rules now and again just to refresh our minds but i love these cards because they just allow you to kind of have more random to the battle so it's, it's less sure that you've won i would thoroughly recommend that you purchase this game if you love game of thrones and you love playing strategic games it's so much fun as i said before every game is different um there's, the rule book is really um, advanced. It's got lots of things in there to help you. But there's also a quick reference guide as well if you just want to refresh your minds on what some of the different things do. Um, so that's really helpful too. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There'll be more board game reviews coming soon because I've really got into board games since buying this one. So I've got loads more to share with you. And let me know down below how you found the game. If you um, enjoy playing it, um, if you've added in any of your own rules or anything like that, you've found, come across any difficulties while playing, I'd love to hear how you're getting on with it. And as I said before, don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time.